Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Checking the pulse of an excited, dare I say, excited Husker Nation, ladies and gentlemen. This is my gut reaction to Dylan Riola leaving the University of Georgia with his commitment, so to speak, and committing to play for the University of Nebraska. Now, real quick, before I dive into it and light this candle, all right, if you miss my interview with Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Alberts, it literally just went out this morning, so make sure you check that out. If you don't want to miss any Character Chronicles content, just smash that subscribe button. Only about a third of the people who watch this show okay, have subscribed. So if you're so inclined, you don't want to miss anything, you don't want to take the chance of missing signing day coverage, gut reactions, interviews, and the like, smash that subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to welcome Dylan Riola home here to the University of Nebraska, then hit that like button, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Dylan Riola has officially committed to play at the University of Nebraska. We've kind of all been waiting, all been anticipating. Everything you hear was this was going to happen, but until it actually happened, you really didn't know for 100% sure, even 100% even sure, even though I felt like it was 100% sure, which is why I hadn't said a ton. But he's officially committed to play for the University of Nebraska. All right, now, Dylan is the highest ranked commit that Nebraska has ever had, according to ESPN and their rankings and the, the ranking services, the majority of them since they started really doing it in the early 2000s and 2006. I think the previous highest ranked recruit we had was running back Marlon Lucky. Marlon Lucky, okay. And now, just some of his stats, okay. The number one quarterback in the class, the five-star number one quarterback in the class of 2024, passed for 8,882 yards, 88 touchdowns and 11 interceptions in his high school career. Now, if you're looking for a two to one touchdown to interception ratio, 88 touchdowns to 11 interceptions is like eight to one. Okay, so that's pretty good, takes care of the ball. Obviously big time potential, big time arm, but I'm gonna get into that in a second. Okay, so here's what I, what I see with the potential of Dylan Riola. Okay, he's a guy that just about everybody projects the ceiling is through the roof. Everyone projects him to do good in college and beyond. Those are the anticipation. That's the anticipation. That's what people project. That's what you see on film. When I watch him on film, and I've hinted at this before, and I hesitate to say things like this, okay, because he's a high school kid. He hasn't even stepped foot on a college football field as a player yet. Just watching him, watching how he plays, the potential of what he, the person he reminds me of is, is Patrick Mahomes. That's just his play style. Who knows if he's going to be Patrick Mahomes or who he's going to be or what he's going to be like. He's obviously Dylan Riola. But my point is, who knows how he'll develop and grow and, and mature and get better as he joins Matt Rule's football team. But that's just who he reminds me of. Got a big arm, accurate, does a lot of things that makes you kind of go, wow, okay. And he kind of, he's a more of a pocket passer, but he can make, move, make plays. He can move around, do things with his feet. Not necessarily just to take off all the time, but to create time and create space and then all of a sudden find that wide open receiver you had no idea was there. So that's who he reminds me of. Obviously the ceiling is there, the excitement is there, the talent is there, the potential is there. There's a reason he's been so highly sought after. When you watch his film, there's a reason to be excited about this guy. Now, as I've mentioned before, He's kind of been all over the place as far as multiple high schools, multiple teams and things of that nature, multiple states. Now, the positive to that, the positive, there's a positive to everything. The positive is he's used to learning new offenses. Like learning a brand new offense in a short amount of time is something he's done frequently. And so it might be a little bit easier, it might come a little bit quicker to him because he's done it so many times, okay? So that could be a positive to that. You start to look at this quarterback room and you start to see it take a little bit of form, take a little bit of shape. And who knows if they'll bring in a transfer quarterback or not. Obviously, we know Kyle McCord's going to Syracuse, but is the way it looks right now. Daniel Kalen's committed to the Huskers. Dylan Riola, you've got Harburg, you've got Purdy already in that, in that quarterback's room. Now, does this mean Harburg goes to tight end? Maybe he goes to receiver, something like that. Who knows? I know he wasn't even in the quarterback's room a couple years ago. I know Purdy did not get a ton of reps a season ago. Okay, so now you start to wonder, you've got Dylan, you've got Daniel. I imagine Purdy's going to stay there. Maybe Harburg moves. But those are three guys, two of them 
We're at the Elite 11 quarterback camp. Okay, Purdy was a four-star, higher recruited than his brother. Then you've got Dylan, Daniel. These are all highly recruited, talented guys with big potential. So you start to look at how this quarterback battle might take shape. Who's gonna be the front runner? Do they bring in a transfer portal guy? What does that kind of look like? These are all things I'm gonna keep my eye on. Right here, right now, okay? There's reason for excitement because also a guy like this, not only with his talent, ability, potential, what he could do, maybe playing early, maybe making an early impact, okay? That the potential of that is there, but who might follow him? You know, does this attract a couple wide receivers who want Dylan Riella throwing him the ball? Maybe a couple of linemen, maybe a couple of a running back or a tight end who wants to have that ball thrown to him. Okay, so that's the other thing I'm curious to see over the next 48 to 72 hours, the next two to four days as early National Signing Day approaches, which is, let's be honest, it's really National Signing Day that day in February. I guess it matters. It's kind of an afterthought. But the next two to four days, who else commits? What else happens? What else comes together with this recruiting class? Okay, because that's another thing that could be exciting to watch. Obviously, you know, he's kind of, he's a legacy player. His dad was an All-American there. His uncle's coaching there. We all know all that. So to me, this is exciting because of the talent, the potential, at by far the biggest area of need that the Huskers had, which is the quarterback position, okay? Who else comes along for the ride and wants to play with, with, a, with an individual like this? He's used to learning offenses quickly because he's done it so many times. And this quarterback room, I'm curious to see how this battle takes shape, takes form, goes into spring ball, goes into fall camp. Is there a transfer portal guy eventually thrown into the mix? Harburg, does he, does he move positions? Does he stay? I, I predict he probably moves positions because he can make an impact on the field. So let's find the best way to get the ball in his hands to do something that, that is best for him and how he can best help the team. If he does move, you've got Purdy, you've got Riola, you've got Kalen, and that's if they add nobody, okay? Let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the show is brought to you by DPS Concrete Construction. They are your local concrete experts. Check them out at dpsconstruction.net. If you want great work done, they're the people for you. If you're looking for a great employer, and this is up your alley, especially in the Omaha metro area. You're going to be hard pressed to find a guy of higher character than Jason Armstrong, who owns the company. Again, check them out at dpsconstruction.net. I think there's reason to be for a lot of excitement. There's a reason people have been waiting for this commitment. Don't forget about the other guys in that room, too. I want a legit quarterback competition. I do. I don't want anything handed, anything predetermined. It's got to be earned. That's, that's my strong, strongest opinion on all of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hit me up in the questions below. All right, first question I got. Will Dylan Riola start at least one game next year for the Huskers? Yes or no, just let me know. Number two, are you concerned at all about him staying? Okay, he has gone from place to place. Okay, are you concerned at all about him staying now that he's committed to Nebraska? Number three, all right, how many other players do you think will follow Dylan to Nebraska. A few, a lot, not many. Let me know in the comments below. As always, check out characterchronicles.com. It's where you're all your football hopes and dreams will come true. It's just science. Go Big Red Nose. Remember to throw the ball.